everyone, I'm Anna, your cinephile host. Today let's talk about a non-traditional Christmas movie called Bad Santa. It's profane, hilarious, and is a good alternative to Hollywood's traditional sugary Christmas movies. The film tells the story of Willie, a grouchy, alcoholic safecracker who works at a department store as Santa so he can rob his employers with the help of an elf, partner in crime. Willie smokes and drinks and relieves himself while on duty, and he curses repeatedly at the children who dare sit on his lap to utter their Christmas wishes. But underneath layers of anger, sarcasm, profanity, and booze, Bad Santa ultimately reveals a soft heart. So let's watch the movie Bad Santa, a must-see for filmgoers who like to walk on the wild side. Willie and his dwarf assistant Marcus Kidmore are professional thieves that take on a Santa Claus routine for the children at a different shopping mall every year as a front for the opportunity to disable the mall security system, clean out the safe, and then flee on Christmas Eve. Willie is an alcoholic and is getting gradually unable to perform the Santa routine, much to Marcus's disappointment. This year, Willie and Marcus are hired at a mall in Phoenix, Arizona, and Willie's vulgar remarks shock the mall manager Bob Chipaska, who brings Willie to the attention of security chief Gene Slagle. It won't happen again, I can promise you that. Willie here has low blood sugar, that's all. That's right, I forgot to take my pill. It's, it's not just the swearing. Um, forgive me for prying. But did one of you um, fornicate? Fornicate? Yes, with a heavy set woman in the big and tall dressing room. Look, I've boned a lot of fat chicks in my time, sure. But uh, as far as I can recall, I've never fornicated anybody. During his shift as Santa, Willie is visited by Thurman, an exceedingly naive, overweight boy who believes Willie is actually Santa. What's it like at the North Pole? Like the suburbs. Which one? Apache Junction. What the fuck do you care? Now get off my lap. Now sit there like a fucking retard. You are really Santa, right? No, I'm an accountant. I wear this fucking thing as a fashion statement, all right? Okay. When Willie is in the parking lot, he is attacked by a man who watched him in the bar, insisting he's not gay. Thurman, believing Santa needs his assistance, intervenes and the man not wanting to expose the kid to adult matters, leaves. Willie gives Thurman a ride home, answering Thurman's endless questions. Willie then takes advantage of Thurman's innocence and takes residence in his house, enduring little boy's excessive amount of questions and breaking down in verbal abuse to a never-offended Thurman. For Christ's sake, make a move and stick with it, would you? King me. Son of a bitch! You lousy, cheap little shit! You're fucking with me! You did that on purpose. You sit there and you play like the fucking dead lice are falling off of you, and then suddenly you're like fucking sea biscuit all over the goddamn place. You're a smart ass, is what you are, kid. Wanna play again? Thurman visits Willie during his shift as Santa after another insult from his bullies and changes his gift request to a pink stuffed elephant, not a purple one. After seeing Thurman hurt himself by accidentally cutting his hand, Willie grows fonder towards him showing him how to defend himself against bullies. Later, while Willie gets Thurman a letter, telling him to give it to the police to explain what will really happen on Christmas Eve at the mall, he notices Thurman has a black eye from the kids who bully him. As a result, Willie attacks the bullies to get them to leave Thurman alone. I beat the shit out of some kids today. But it's for a purpose. Made me feel good about myself. It was like I did something constructive with my life or something. I don't know. Like I accomplished something. 
While Willie and Sue are fooling around, Thurman interrupts in order to give Willie his present, a wooden pickle he made himself. Jen visits Roger in jail, who indirectly reveals that Willie is staying with Thurman illegally. Jean confronts Willie and Marcus at the mall and takes them to a bar. There, he reveals that he has figured out their plan and blackmails them for half the money to keep silent. Willie and Marcus's partnership begins to fall apart, especially after Willie shows up to work drunk and destroys the Santa attraction, to Marcus's and Jean's shock. When Willie is home with Thurman, Marcus and his wife murder Jen as a way of keeping all the money for themselves. On Christmas Eve, Willie, Marcus and his wife break into the mall as planned. It takes Willie longer than usual to crack open the safe. Marcus notices this and after successfully opening it, Marcus reveals to Willie that he has become too unreliable and was planning on killing him. You people are monsters. There's no joy in this for me. I'm not talking about you taking me out. That part I get. But look at all that shit. Do you really need all that shit? For Christ's sakes, it's Christmas. Before Marcus can take his shot, a police squad appears and starts shooting at all three of them. Willie makes an escape with a pink, stuffed elephant as Thurman's Christmas present. He escapes and frantically drives back to Thurman's house with a convoy of police in hot pursuit. However, before he can make it to the front door, the police shoot him. The epilogue is told through a letter from Willie, recovering in the hospital. He expresses his gratitude to Thurman and reveals that he was cleared of the robbery, the shooting of an unarmed Santa embarrassed the police, and will be working for the police as a sensitivity counselor. Marcus and his wife are arrested, while Sue is granted guardianship over Thurman and his house until his father's release from jail. In the end, when the lead skateboard bully harasses Thurman again, Thurman finally stands up to him by kicking him hard in the crotch and riding away on his bike. You have to give Bad Santa credit for being such a dark comedy about such a bright subject, Christmas. The main character is not just Bad Santa, he's really bad, horribly rotten Santa, and he's so good at it, you can't help laughing. The humor is offbeat and unconventional, but much of it is funny. You'll find yourself warming to Bad Santa in spite of his flaws and imperfections, simply because it's different than any holiday tale that's come before. It's nice to see a comedy that doesn't attempt to soften its characters' rough edges. I'm your host Anna, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can find more on Fundy website. Stay tuned! You're getting worse, you know that? Well, at least I got it open. It took you long enough. I remember the time when you could unlock a lock like it was nothing. You don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm out. Bullshit. Bullshit my ass. We just made $111,000 in one night. Exactly. I figure I got enough to go to Miami. And do what? I don't know, shit, get a car, get a place maybe.